Hello and welcome, I'm Fabio Guarini, Product Manager for Mapei Sealing and Bonding Line. Today I would like to present MapeFix EP100, a pure epoxy chemical anchor for structural fixings, including in seismic zones. Make a hole in the substrate with a drill, and bit to create the anchor point. The hole should have a rough surface finish. Remove any loose parts from inside the hole with a suitable stiff bottle brush. Remove all traces of dust from inside the hole using compressed air. To make sure all dirt and loose material has been removed from inside the hole, clean it again with a stiff bottle brush and compressed air. In the case of large diameter holes, the hole can be made using a core drill, including if wet. In this case the hole will have a smooth surface finish. Remove any loose parts from inside the hole, with a suitable stiff bottle brush. If possible remove any water remaining at the bottom of the hole, but this is not absolutely essential. Insert the cartridge of MapeFix EP100, two-component, pure resin chemical anchor, into a Mapei gun 585 2K manual silicone gun. Make sure the two components that make up MapeFix EP100 epoxy resin are perfectly mixed by discarding the first two or three shots, until the color of the resin is perfectly homogeneous with no light or dark streaks. Extrude the MapeFix EP100 epoxy resin continuously into the hole, starting from the bottom, taking care not to entrain air into the hole. Immediately after filling the hole, insert the clean, rust-free steel bar with a rotary motion. Make sure the excess resin is pushed out and forms a crown around the top of the hole, to confirm the anchoring point has been perfectly filled. MapeFix EP100 chemical anchor is also suitable for large diameter holes made using a diamond cutter and for holes that are wet when inserting the bar. The clean, rust-free steel bar should also be inserted with a rotary motion in these cases, making sure the excess resin is pushed out and forms a crown around from the top of the hole. Only apply loads to the bar after the specified waiting time, which varies according to the surrounding temperature, and whether the hole was wet or dry when inserting the bar. 